and I guess we're ready to, to get started. Uh, my name is Gail McCann Beatty. I am the Assistant Minority Floor Leader. I represent the 26th District out of Kansas City. Um, I'd like to start today by first thanking all of you for coming, and then I'd like to give a special thanks to my entire caucus and our minority leader for the work that they've done so far this session. We've currently hit the midpoint, and so far we have uh, passed out the budget bills out of our budget committee, um, but we have not so far had any legislation dealing with job creation. Instead, what we've seen is infringement on voter rights, we've seen uh, suppression of wages uh, for the middle class, and undermining workers' rights. But more importantly, the one thing that, that um, we labeled as our priority, as well as the priority for the business community, as well as the healthcare community, is we have seen no advancement of any kind of healthcare expansion. And as we have said before, that creates 24,000 jobs. We're looking at 8.2 billion in federal investment in the state, 9.6 billion in additional um, economy activity, and um, as many as 300,000 more Missourians to have access to care. We do know that without uh, passing this legislation, that we have the potential for losing at least 5,000 jobs. Uh, we will we lose $4 billion in the federal um, reimbursements for uncompensated care, which will result in about a $1 billion tax for our uh, em employers. So with that, um, I will open up for questions. Both uh, chamber and staff committees Well, um, we do know that Representative Barnes has filed legislation. Uh, it's not what we want, but it is, it still leaves room for negotiation. What do you want to see done with that legislation? If you were a starting point. Our start, I don't know if you want to call it our starting point or our ending point, but we have to get to that 138%. Probably not support that. So it's all or nothing deal. Not necessarily all or nothing, but the 138 percent is the deal breaker. Yeah. And it's unlikely that the federal government's going to accept 100 percent. You elaborate on that point. The the people, the states have tried to get waivers for the 100 percent. They are not going to drop down to that. That's 138. Is their their goal line. I don't think it does. Um, the 138, we need that 138 percent one um, to cover those 300,000 plus Missourians. So I don't think that, and if we're not getting those that federal benefit, um, I'm not sure that we've really accomplished a whole lot. The other part we're going to start the session was an ethics bill, campaign finance reform. Nothing has happened so far. Maybe uh, alluded to maybe going to petition a petition matter. Are you going to let the rest of the session play out first or go ahead and go to the voters? I think we need to let the rest of the session play out and, and see where it takes us. The speaker uh, came back and said that ethics was important to him as well just after we did our press conference on it, and we'll wait and see what he does. So the Senate today is voting on it. Um, I think you, you'll see that there's going to be bipartisan support for that sales tax. However, uh, it's got a big hurdle to overcome, and that's getting it through to the voters. The hurdle being the voters. I think trying to keep up with Kansas in that manner um, is a difficult situation. We're, uh, Kansas has already seen some challenges um, with funding to education, and I just don't think that's the route that we need to go. Uh, I believe that bill is looking at, I've heard estimates anywhere from 400 million to 700 million lost in revenue, 
and with no uh, solution for how we regain that revenue. So I do not think that's the way to go. Is it uh, yes, I'm sorry, it's a sponsor to Jason Cantor's early voting priorities. What's the caucus's take on the bill? Um, I believe the caucus is in very much in support of early voting. Have you, have you looked at that legislation? Um, issues with what you saw? Not yet, as of yet. Any other questions? Okay, thank you.